Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Plates of Love from Texas. I hope y'all are doing great today. So as you know, the holidays are just around the corner. And sometimes that brings hecticness and a little busyness. But I'm actually gonna be showing y'all today how to make a breakfast casserole. So this breakfast casserole is something that me and my mom love to make. It's kind of like something you can prepare the night before, stick it in the oven, it's good to go like 30 minutes later. It's so good. I did put my spin on it because it was just a recipe we found, stumbled upon, a little bland. So, spice it up just a bit. So let's go ahead, get this hair up, get to cooking. All right, y'all, so for this breakfast casserole, you are going to need a, uh, it's 20 ounces of these hash brown potatoes. So this is about 28 ounces, so we'll have a little bit left over. You're gonna need a small onion uh, diced for you or chopped there, six eggs, a small tube of some breakfast sausage, eight ounces of cheese grated, a half a cup of milk, and then you're also gonna need, um, I add chili peppers to mine just to flavor it up, and then garlic powder, I also season mine, and then salt and pepper to taste, of course. So, let's go ahead and start browning the sausage and the onions. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and start browning our sausage and our onion. So I'm gonna put this on medium high just to kind of get that pan hot, and... all of this and then we're gonna break it up so go throw this away and wash my hands just one moment all right y'all so as you can see it is starting to brown up I kind of been breaking it up as well so we're gonna go ahead and Add our onion. And we're gonna just saute all of this until it's nice and soft. And we're just gonna continue to break up the breakfast sausage. Alright y'all, so you can see that the onion is nice and soft and it's kind of translucent and that sausage is nice and brown. And it smells like a breakfast morning. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of pepper to this. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it off the stove because it's actually gonna go ahead and cool. And then we're gonna mix all of our ingredients together in a bowl and get everything started. And we're gonna put it into that pan. So I'm gonna just give this a quick little mix. And y'all salt and pepper as you go. If you have a family like mine that likes black pepper, we go heavy on it. Um, so, You'll see me add some more pepper here after a while. All right. All right, y'all. So it is done. Nice and brown. Onions are definitely cooked through. And I used reduced fat sausage or like a light sausage. You can use whatever, you can actually use like a spicy breakfast sausage as well. Um, so this one didn't really have too much fat, but we're gonna go ahead, pull this from the stove just so it can start cooling off a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and like I said, mix everything together and put it in our casserole dish and then put it in the oven. All right, y'all, so I have a big bowl here. We're just gonna literally throw everything in here and mix it all together. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is start with the hash browns. This is no particular order, of course. So this 
so this bag is a 28 ounce bag really we just need 20 ounces of potatoes but really i love potatoes so a few extra ounces are not going to hurt anybody all right so we got that now we're going to go ahead and add our sausage and this is cooled down just a bit so we're going to go ahead that sausage and onion mixture right in there get all those onions all right so i'm gonna just give this a little stir and then with those eggs i go ahead and beat my eggs you definitely don't have to um it just makes it easier to incorporate everything all together so that's a nice little mixture we're gonna go ahead and get these eggs. I already kind of beat them together. All right. Give this a little stir. So, with the cheese, you're gonna save about a cup to put on top. So, we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. We can always grate some more to go on top because I like cheese. Um, and then we're going to add our milk. So half cup of milk. I like to add green chilies. So we're going to go ahead and add that. It's just to give it a little more flavor, a little bit of kick there. So we're going to get that all together. And then of course I like to season mine up with a little bit of garlic powder. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper, of course. Great. Give this a mix and then we're going to go ahead and you're going to get a 9 by 13 casserole because this is quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and spray that casserole dish with the nonstick, so some Pam, and then pop this guy in the oven. So let's go ahead and get that casserole dish all ready and we're going to go ahead and put all of that into the oven. Alright y'all, so I went ahead and added just a little bit more pepper. Like I said, we like black pepper and then um, just a tad more salt and it, it, just one final mix, you know, um, to just make sure everything is nice and incorporated. So went ahead and got my nine by 13 casserole dish. It's already sprayed with Pam from the Pam tree. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and just put our mixture in here. So without trying to drop the bowl, it's so nice and we're gonna just scrape the bowl of all of this goodness cheese and all because we love cheese <laughs> all right so and just flatten kind of make sure everything's more or less distributed throughout the pan and that extra cheese that we saved on the side, it is going to go on top um, once it gets done baking. Um, well, not done, but almost done, you know? So, we're going to go ahead and put this guy in our oven. Our oven's been at 350, and so it's going to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes, and we're going to top it with cheese and cook it another 10 minutes. So, let's go ahead and get this in the oven. All right, y'all, so it is ready to go in the oven. So let's go ahead and pop this in here. All right, y'all, so our breakfast casserole has been in the oven. It's time to take it out and add a bit more cheese. So let's go ahead, doesn't that look so good already? We're gonna add the rest of that cheese. And I like a lot of cheese, so if you want to add more cheese than just like the cup that it called for to be reserved, do it. Just add it. It's the holidays. We need some extra love in. It's totally fine. All right. So that is nice and kind of dispersed. And there's plenty of cheese already in there. Just want to top it off. So it's going to cook for another 8 to 10 minutes, and that way the cheese can get nice and bubbly on top. And we will come back and pull it out of the oven then. All right, y'all. So, let's 
take this guy out of the oven. Ugh, nice and brown. Looks delicious. As you can see, it's very hot, very bubbly, so it's gonna need to sit for about 15, 20 minutes, of course, to kind of cool off so we don't burn our mouth. Um, and then kind of let all the eggs and the cheese kind of settle and get nice and ready for us to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit a bit and then we're gonna plate it up. All right, y'all, um, so it's all plated up. Looks delicious, smells even better. So usually I just put it up by itself it's really easy once it's out of the oven it's good to go after it kind of sits and cools off my husband likes toast likes toast with everything so i got some toast there and then i also just cut up um some fresh tomato just kind of freshen it up a little bit as well i also top mine with sour cream and hot sauce it does have the green chilies in there but it's not too much for heat more for flavor so I can't wait to take a bite for this, but first, I just want to thank y'all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and also, we'll see you next week. Oh, this looks so good, guys. Mm.